These are all the collectibles in the Sun Spear chapter. There are 10 beacons, one Karen Stone puzzle, and then there is a legendary climb, but it is story related and at the very end of this chapter, so I'm just going to admit it from the guide since it's story related. All right, so once you get up the elevator there, you fix it, you put the gear in, you'll see a rope over here on the right hand side that you're going to go slide down in just a moment. Before you do that, what I want you to do is look down into the left hand side of this area and you will find the beacon down below. Okay, let's go ahead and slide on down. Once you do that, climb up, and you're going to look to the left and see a door and a wheel. There's a wheel puzzle involving that door. But what we're going to do instead is look to the right first, and then we're going to see a target. Pretty clear. Easy to find this one. Okay, now we're going to head over to that door with the little wheel puzzle. And to do that, you need to jump across here. Once you jump across and climb up, look over to the right out in the distance and you should see another warning beacon. To protect the site. And to make sure the pilgrims paid their way. How do I bring that bridge down? Once you've shot that, go ahead and open the door. Once the door to this little building opens, you can look up inside of it and you're going to see a window. A little gap here. Not really a window, a little hole in the wall. Through there is the, well, it's really hard to see the beacon, but in VR, it's a lot easier to see. All right, so you're going to get this elevator working, and then you're going to finally take it all the way up. Once you get to the top, you'll see another warning beacon out in the distance there. You can wait for this uh, elevator to stop before you shoot. It's jammed. We'll have to climb here. Get a little closer. All right, so continue onwards and you're going to climb up here and you have a little building to the right that you're going to go into and climb in and around in, in a moment. But first, we're going to take this little hidden path to the left hand side. There's some crafting components for arrows as well as a gong for you to play with. More importantly, though, there's a collectible. A warning beacon is going to be above us and behind us as you enter this area. All right, continue the story path and you're gonna eventually get the grab caster you have a little tutorial section here and we're gonna climb up and as soon as we get up here we're gonna turn around and find another beacon target this is immediately after the tutorial now from here you're gonna be climbing up this mountain for about four to five more minutes and it's quite a lengthy and in my opinion scary journey once you make your way up here, you see that big gap. You need to jump and then use your grab caster. But before you do that, we're going to look above us. I'm going to have to jump first. You see, it's barely, you can barely see it, but it is up there. There's a beacon. Go ahead and light that. Now from here, continue on your story path. Swing around and you're going to climb up finally into a cave. Inside of this cave is going to be a Karen puzzle and a like beacon in the same little cubby here to the right hand side. So here's the Karen puzzle, just stack the stones so they at least equal the mark on the poles behind. Get it here, we gotta wait a moment. My mark is left and there we go, Karen staff built. Now just to the left is the target. All right, so from this point, continue your journey. You're going to enter another cave similar looking to the one we just entered. And you're going to see some paint you can draw on the wall, which is always fun to do. Just keep going to the end here and look down and you will see the target. And this is all the collectibles in the Sun Spear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next chapter. Please subscribe.